no way. You loved her? Absolutely, girl of my dreams. Wilma Flintstone? Ah, <laughs> oh, you just like a girl in a tiger skin dress. Yes, I do. <laughs> Plus, I got a thing for them redheads. I don't know that I mentioned this or not, but I have red hair. <laughs> All right, who's your cartoon crush? Well, that's easy. Ever since I was a little girl, I always hoped for the day that I might be Mrs. Jughead. <laughs> And I'm not saying that just because you remind me of him. <laughs> Look, I'd invite you in, but, you know, like I told you, it's a nut house in there. Heck, I'm only going in because I have to. <laughs> gotcha. I will call you tomorrow, and why don't we do that car show on Saturday? Okay. okay. Brian, I, I really would invite you in, uh, but it's my kids. They'd be all over you. A lot of questions. Yeah, and they'd get you all in your boots. Mm. <laughs> Look, the truth is, I don't want my kids meeting mommy's friend until mommy's sure she's going to be friends with her friend for a while. I just don't want my kids Reba, to... What? My parents were divorced, and my mom had way too many friends I played catch with one time. I'm new at this. And you're doing it right. Plus, I like these boots. <laughs> Brian Collins, mm -hmm. would you like to have dinner with my family on Thursday? I'd love to. Oh, no, wait, you're going to be there too, right? Woo <laughs> 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 wee, you can kiss. <laughs> well, finally. You kids have any idea what time it is? Van, shut the door. I meant with you inside. I just don't think it's appropriate for you two to be on the porch making out like a couple of French people. Van, go inside. We have neighbors. You want to go live with them? Two minutes. sure you want to have dinner with us? I'm positive. <laughs> Good night, Wilma. Good night, Chughead. girl who gets to go to Barbara Jean's family reunion? Actually, I was thinking I'd like to go away to boarding school. Tonight. It won't be that bad. Just think of it as a whole bunch of people you hadn't met yet. Yeah, a bunch of people just like Barbara Jean. Now, Kira, your father and I have talked this over, and we both agree that it's important for you to meet them. Just remember, you're a part of Barbara Jean's family now. Na 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 na. And since it's all the way up in Lubbock, we're going to drive there in a, a rented minibus. <laughs> huh? How much fun will that be? Lubbock? No, it's near Lubbock. In a town called Fisheye Bottom. <laughs> it has the biggest slaughterhouse in the county. <laughs> Who's heard of it? Show of hands. <laughs> What's it like there? It's flat. Real flat. You stand on a coffee can, you can see Colorado. Now, Reba, I just want you to know that you are welcome to join us. Oh, gee, I'd love to drive nine hours to meet those you sprung from, but I'm going to be busy this weekend putting my divorce papers in a gold frame. <laughs> well, we're all just going to have a great time, and I can't wait for Brock to meet Big Daddy. <laughs> Big Daddy? That's what they call him. Honest to God. <laughs> Wait, isn't this the guy that wouldn't come to your wedding? No. Well, yeah. It's just Big Daddy's old-fashioned. He doesn't like that this is Brock's second marriage. He's very anti-divorce. Hey, I used to be, too. You know, he did send us a couple of nice wedding presents. Yeah, Barbara Jean got a lovely pearl necklace. I got a gift certificate. 
for a tombstone. Okay, we'll pick you up Saturday at 9. Oh, we are going to have a real West Texas down-home good time. Yeah! Barbara Jean, honey, do we really have to do this? Brock, I said yee-haw. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Brian's gonna be here any minute, and I want this to be a very nice family dinner. All right, you got it, Mom. Kira, go get dressed. I am dressed. Um, yeah, maybe to play kickball. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. H will be on best behavior. Now, Jake, let's keep those fingers out of the nose. Then knock it off. But Jake, yes. Mom, what if I don't like your friend? His name is Brian. He's really nice, he's smart, he's sweet, and he's really funny. You'll like him. But what if I don't? You're my son, and I love you with all my heart. And you love me. And I like Brian, so I bet you're gonna like him too. But what if I don't? I bet you will. But what if I don't? You're gonna. But what if I don't? Jake! <laughs> Why don't you just wait and meet him and then we'll talk later, okay? Okay. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, so here we go. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Everybody just relax. We're just gonna have a family dinner. No big deal. Just be yourselves. Hey, Casanova, keep your shirt on. <laughs> the one being rude. <laughs> okay, he's gonna probably be very nervous. Just make him feel comfortable. Hurry up and open the door. Okay. I want to meet my new daddy. <laughs> hey. Hey. Well, I didn't know what to bring, so I made some homemade ice cream with M&Ms, gummy worms, and chocolate mint. I like him. <laughs> What can I do to help you? I think I've got it covered. Why don't you go in there and relax? Well, come on, I'm handy in the kitchen. Hey, I can unwrap a slice of cheese in under two minutes. <laughs> of course, I'd need my special gloves. <laughs> I'm okay, really. Why don't you go in the living room with the kids? Oh, right to the audition? All right, well, how do I look? Is my target on straight? <laughs> It'll be fine. Besides, if this doesn't go well, they're the ones I'm breaking up with. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I'm going in. I don't know about this Brian guy. Why? He seems nice. He has dead eyes. I like him. He brought ice cream. Yeah, but what if he's some ice cream psycho? What if it isn't gummy worms in the ice cream? What if it's real worms? Think of him, Kira. Well, I've only spent a billionth of a second with him, but I already like him more than I like Van. You know, your mom says he's a filmmaker. You know what that means, don't you? Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Yeah, that doesn't make me paranoid. So, Brian, have a seat. Not Daddy's chair! Good one. Can I get you something to drink? Yeah, you look like a drinker. Or are pills your game? No, actually, I'm fine, thank you. So, you and my mom, huh? <laughs> That's neat. What exactly was it that attracted you to her? Well, to be honest with you, at first, there was that whole she's gorgeous thing. Bum, chicka, bum, bum. <laughs> Plus, she talks about you guys constantly. I mean, that's a sign of somebody with a lot of room in their heart. <sighs> she doesn't really 
talk about us when you guys are out, does she? She mostly talks about a certain young lady named Elizabeth. Oh. <laughs> I've seen that photograph a million times. That is one beautiful child you've got there, Cheyenne. I'll go wake her up. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Kira, who gets stuck with the babysitting detail when we go out. You, I owe big time. I have changed for a 50. <laughs> well, I got a different idea. What do you say your mom and I take Jake with us sometimes so you can revisit your life? God bless you, sweet stranger. <laughs> well, you are just a sweet talker, aren't you? <laughs> Ladies love that. Me, I'm a different kind of animal. <laughs> you won't work your gigolo magic on me. I love the fact that you're protective of Reba. I mean, I am too. But when you say something like that, you imply something about her that I just don't, I don't care for at all. Now, I don't think that's what you meant to do, which is why I'm going to let it go. Once. Okay, hey, dinner's ready. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. The van, me, takes the stuff out to the van we're driving in, right? <laughs> so it's van to the van, then van in the van, and then both vans are gone. Is that thing called a minibus? <laughs> Fine. Okie dokie. I think I've got everything. Well, you better double check. I remember once we went to your grandma's and I left all your bottles in the fridge. <laughs> of course, I was young and stupid. Yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. It's a van, whatever. <laughs> How can the kids need this much stuff for one night? Brock, they're going to fish eye bottom. They'll need evening wear. Oh. <laughs> hey, a camera, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna meet Barbara Jean's family. If nothing else, the flash will startle them. <laughs> Young lady, this weekend you are gonna be polite and respectful. Okay, Daddy, I'll really try. And no sarcasm, either. <laughs> no, no, Jake, honey, you brought enough toys. It's not a toy. It's for my puke. <laughs> Quit enjoying this. I'll try. It's just not easy. <laughs> I like your daddy's ready to go. Oh, I'm not sure dad wants to get there. He circled a spot on the map and wrote fake engine trouble. <laughs> What are you doing? Making breakfast. A grapefruit? Don't you normally eat something good like ham and sausage between pancakes? I wanted a grapefruit, so? Didn't you go to the gym yesterday? <laughs> I went out for a cheeseburger. I was in my sweats. It just happened. Oh my god, you are so cute. But mom, you can relax. You have a great body. Oh, well this is an awkward mother-daughter moment. <laughs> because Brian's got a hot body, right? Mom, don't worry. I'm sure he thinks you look great naked. I think your father's ready to go. Now. What are you so freaked out about? We can talk about stuff like this. Cheyenne, stop. This is none of your business. You are my child, not my girlfriend. I appreciate your interest in that you think Brian has a hot body. But this isn't something I'm comfortable talking to you about. Mom. I may be your daughter, but I am also a married woman. I think this is great, as long as you two are being careful. <laughs> you are being careful, right? Cheyenne. Yes, very careful. 100% foolproof careful. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, I just... I thought nope. I... Not even a little bit? <laughs> I don't fully understand that question, but no. <laughs> Well, do you think you're going to? I mean, if the opportunity presented itself? Say you had the house to yourselves? 
for the entire weekend? I'm gonna need another grapefruit. <laughs> Mom, do you want to? I don't know. Okay. Well, you have to be ready just in case that you decide you do want to. You guys are safe. The first thing you need to do is talk to him about his history. His history? Aha. Uh -huh. And I'm just supposed to bring that up over dinner? <laughs> How's your Brussels sprouts, Brian? Is your gravy too hot? When's the last time you had a little ring-a-ding? ring-a-ding? <laughs> well, I've heard what you kids call it, and I prefer ring-a-ding. <laughs> I don't think I could ask him about his history, Cheyenne. Well, Mom, you have to. You know, if, if you're going to have, say, ding-a-ling, you, you have to. Ring-a-ding. <laughs> Whatever. Gee, it, look, Mom, a lot has changed since the last time you went through this. Okay, right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Mom, <laughs> another thing. You have to remember, every time you go out, you have to have your essentials in your purse. Essentials? Mm -hmm. Underwear, toothbrush, birth control, money. Whoa! Whoa! Am I going on a date or a sleepaway camp? <laughs> What's this money thing? Do I have to tip for that, too? Mom, money so that no matter where you are, you can call a cab to go home, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, you're pretty good at giving the talk. <laughs> hey, you and Kira are going to be in a minibus for eight hours. Oh, no way. <laughs> Look, Mom, I know this is a really big step for you. I mean... We all like Brian a lot. And no matter what happens between the two of you guys while we're away, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Just be careful. <laughs> babies took turns crying the entire way. <laughs> I didn't notice. Of course, I probably couldn't hear them over the sound of me pounding myself in the head. <laughs> How's the stomach, buddy? Oh, better. Next time, bring your own tail. <laughs> hey, where are all the freaks? <laughs> I rode eight hours in a bus. Ban. <laughs> Whatever. What weirdos and nutcases. Yeah, well, they're not here yet. Hey, maybe I got lucky and Big Daddy's not coming. Or maybe he just stopped along the way to gut a hitchhiker. Now, Bob, don't be nervous about meeting Big Daddy. There's nothing to worry about. So he has a lot of guns and drinks a bit. He drinks? All right. This was great. I enjoyed Fish Eye Bottom. I especially enjoyed the gas station attendant with the tiny head. Now can we go back to Houston? We're not going anywhere. If we leave, it'll look like we're running. And nothing brings out a hunter's instinct like prey on the run. Don't be silly. Big Daddy's as grateful as I am that y'all decided to come. And how could he not love this little face? Let go. <laughs> All right, it's a chance. Here they come. <laughs> There's my little girl. <laughs> Big Daddy! This is Henry. Right there. Those are my daddy's eyes. And this is my husband, Brock. Of course he's your husband. He's everybody's husband.
restaurant was good again tonight. We should make that our place. I only have one question. What's that? Why did you hand your underwear to the valet? <laughs> it was very good service. <laughs> Well, here we are. You know, maybe I ought to pop my head in there and say hey to the kids. Well, it's a little late. Maybe tonight will be a good night for that. Then I will take a kiss. Okay. Ooh, that garlic bread was good, wasn't it? <laughs> good night. Good night. Oh, uh, Brian? Actually, uh... My kids are gone for the weekend. They went away with their dad and his wife. Oh. How about that? <laughs> yeah, how about that? <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't know if I'm, you know, ready yet. Oh, oh, sh I, Yeah. Of course. I, yeah. No, I understand. Okay. How about now? <laughs> now? How's now for you? <laughs> I'll call you, okay? Okay. Hey, wait a second. Isn't I'll call you what guys say when they're not gonna call? Reba. What? I'll call you tomorrow morning, okay? Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. Hey, Brian. You wanna come in? Excuse me. <laughs> You remember my sister, Katie Ann, and her husband, Trent. Hey, Trent, how you doing? Good to see you again, bud. Katie Ann? Oh. <laughs> Say, uh, your dad's not packing, is he? Oh, don't be silly. Oh. <laughs> of course he is. We met little Henry. Oh, he's so cute. And he doesn't have big, giant barbagine feet. <laughs> Well, he's just a baby. <laughs> Took me all my life to grow big, giant Barbara Jean feet. <laughs> oh, big Daddy. Hey, Brock, if you're uh, going to hide, I'd stay away from the rabbit fur coat there. If that thing moves, someone's liable to shoot it. <laughs> well, no, I'm not hiding. I'm just taking a break and, you know, going through people's pockets looking for loose change. So technically, I'm stealing. I'm not hiding. <laughs> I know you're afraid of Big Daddy. I used to hide from him, too. Oh, and now you're going to tell me that his bark is worse than his bite? No, the bite is way worse. <laughs> and there's no avoiding it when you marry one of Big Daddy's girls. I just wanted to thank you for taking the heat off me. Hey, <laughs> what's he hate you for? Moving Katie Ann to San Francisco and having a pet cat. See, according to Big Daddy, real men don't own cats. Yeah, well, he's got a point there. <laughs> Eventually, he's going to find you, so you might as well go face him now. It'll hurt, but at least you'll get it over with. So the guy says, grab him. I thought you said, stab him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. It's not a joke. It's a true story. <laughs> well, look who crawled out from under a table. It's Doc. You know what your friends call you, Doc? Actually, no, they don't. I don't really like that. Good, then I'll call you Doc. <laughs> Boys, this is my son-in-law. You are still my son-in-law, right? I have to check, because this boy loves getting divorced. Maybe I should start calling you Splitty. You know, suddenly Doc doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> well, I guess in Houston they play fast and loose with the institution of marriage. Me, I've been married to Big Mama for 56 years, never left her. Probably because she is too ugly to kiss goodbye. <laughs> That's a joke, Doc. Oh, I couldn't tell, because, well, it wasn't funny. What's that? You know, jokes about your wife. I don't get that. I also don't do that. I love my wife. Which wife would that be, Doc? Number one or number two? <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. I am divorced. I love someone else, and it didn't work out. Now I love Barbara Jean. I love her. So I care about what she thinks of me, not you. So if you don't like me, well, gee, I guess I'll just have to figure out some way to live with that. Gosh, it's quiet.
quiet in here. Yeah, it is. Maybe because there's no other people here. Yeah, they've all gone to Lubbock. <laughs> so even if they left Barbara Jean's family reunion right now, the kids wouldn't be back until morning. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> It just got quieter in here. <laughs> this is nice. Just a second. It's awfully light in here. How's that? Yeah, much better. I was almost totally blinded. <laughs> Hey, you want something to drink? Oh, maybe we shouldn't drink. I mean, alcohol. But I'm thirsty. You want some juice? Reba, hang on a second. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> I'm not just going to jump on you. Really? Because that might be easier. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just don't know how this goes. Whatever you want to happen is what's going to happen. So it's up to me? That's not the way I remember it. <laughs> Would you like a suggestion? Give me a tour of the house. But you've already seen the house. I haven't seen every room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the tour. <laughs> right. Let me get my little hat. <laughs> so, where would you like to start? Where would you like to start? Well, um, have you seen the backyard yet? Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your feet and hands inside the car. <laughs> What? Kenny said he'll give me five dollars if you let him kiss you. I've got a better deal. I'll give you ten seconds to get out of here. She means it. So, Kira, what do you think of Fish Eye Bottom? I would imagine the suicide rate is high. <laughs> Cheyenne, can we leave this dump? Kira, you're being rude. Sorry, can we leave this dump, please? It's almost like she's trying to be rude on purpose. Oh, she's a good kid. Oh, she's just at that awkward age. I remember with Barbara Jean, it was 12 through... Well, how old are you now, Barbara Jean? <laughs> a lady never reveals her age. Oh, you tell him or I will. There it is. So, I'm just biding my time. And finally... His head pops up and bang, I nail him, right between the eyes. That's great, Doc. <clears throat> See, that's called whack-a-mole. Dad, can we go? I swear I heard a banjo. Hey, Kira, why don't you come say hi to your new grandfather? Here, sit between us. Hey, Kira, sweetie, you can call me Big Granddaddy. Chances of that are slim. <laughs> Dad? Would you excuse us for a second, Big Daddy? Hey, Kira, we are not leaving, so just make the best of it. Well, why don't you give me the room key and I'll go watch the moving picture box? <laughs> you know what? I'm having a real problem with your attitude. Where'd you get the idea that you're so much better than everybody else? Most of it's through comparison. <laughs> Knock it off. Now, when we came here, none of us expected to have a good time, but we've all managed to find somebody that we have something in common with. I mean, look at me and Big Daddy. Turns out he's a big gun collector, and I'm afraid he's going to shoot me. Dad. No. Sometimes we do things we don't want to do for people we care about. Doc, get back here. And sometimes we do things for people with guns. Hey, Kira. Having a good time? Well, I wasn't, but then I had some jello. <laughs> Are you having a good time? Well, why would you ask that? Are you? Of course. It's a family reunion. <laughs> so, this is uh, my room. 
Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, well, it's where I, you know, sleep. Yeah, I figured with the bed and all. It's a nice mattress. It is? Yeah, well, it feels like a good one. Well, I think it's a good mattress, but... But what if it isn't? I mean, what if it isn't and I, I don't know it? But what if I think it's a perfectly fine mattress and then somebody who's slept on a lot of different mattresses comes along and sleeps on it and says, man, that's a bad mattress. <laughs> I'm never going to sleep on that mattress again. That's a lot of pressure on my mattress. Reba. Do you? Do I? Sleep on a lot of different mattresses. Uh, no, actually, I sleep on a futon. <laughs> But it's funny, because for a minute there, I thought you were going to ask me about women. <laughs> Whatever. Reba, since my wife passed away, I have been with two women. Nobody for over a year. Last spring, when I changed my life insurance, I had a complete physical, and everything was fine. Do you have a letter from that doctor? <laughs> <sighs> so what about you? What about me what? Oh. Oh, no. No, I hadn't been with anybody except Brock. Oh, and Mel Gibson, once in a dream. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I hear he sleeps on a futon, too. Just a second. <laughs> My kids. <laughs> Brian, I don't think I can do this. I mean, I don't think I can do this in here. Oh, okay. You want to run down the couch? My kids watch TV on that couch. <laughs> okay, well, how about, uh, 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 man, I wish I'd paid attention during that tour. Well, no. How about your place? It's an hour away. Although tonight, I could probably drive it in about 15 minutes. <laughs> I got an idea. What? There's this great little bed and breakfast I stay at when I'm working in town. Well, that sounds good. What's the name of it? The Sagebrush Motel. I added the breakfast part. It's really nice, though. They wrap the glasses in paper. That sounds like fun. Hey, we can send people postcards. Nah, I don't think we can. <laughs> on drill team. As a matter of fact, my advisor said that I was a role model for the whole squad. Oh. You know, until I got pregnant. Oh. <laughs> the main thing is you were out there. After all, it's the pep squads that hold the school together. Katie Ann was head cheerleader. You're kidding. <laughs> that is why we played, right? To impress a pretty girl's cheering for us? Or to make our dad shut up. <laughs> <laughs> at the games too. I was in band. Oh, it was so hilarious. She played the trombone. She was always knocking the hat off the boy in front of her. It was a huge joke in school. Oh, you have got to hear my cousin tell the story about when Barbara Jean cut her own hair. Oh, my sister's so funny. Really? She seems like a bitch to me. You may not use language like that. It is inappropriate, and you're wrong. She's funny. Why do you laugh when she makes fun of you? She's not making fun. She's... she's telling stories. Strange how in all her stories you sound like an idiot. Didn't she ever do something that you thought was stupid? No. <laughs> ever? Come on, Barbara Jean, no matter what she'd like you to believe, she's not perfect. Yes. She is. I mean, you know what it's like having an older sister. Yeah, I do. But I've trained mine to fear me. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your hair back real tight, Barbara Jean. Everybody wants to remember what you look like, bald. <laughs> okay, Katie Ann. But first, I just got to tell the 
story about the time you peed yourself on the roller coaster. <laughs> Barbara Jean, nobody wants to hear that story. I do. <laughs> Me too. Well, the trouble started when somebody slammed a 40-ounce big gulp. Mm. I guess we know now why it was called the wizard. <laughs> that blinking motel sign. I mean, there we were, getting ready to check in with no luggage or anything. It, it just made it look like we were there for only one reason. Well, we kind of were. That desk clerk sitting there reading the Bible didn't help either. I, I just didn't think I could feel comfortable there. Reba, maybe this isn't about finding a place that you're going to feel comfortable. I mean, maybe this is a bigger issue than that for you. Brian, I really like you a lot, but I don't know yet if I love you, and I don't think you're ready to say you love me. If it'll get you upstairs, I am. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's just it. I don't think people should, you know... Ring-a-ding. Yeah. I, I don't think people should ring-a-ding to see if they fall in love. I think people should ring-a-ding because they're already in love. That'd be good on a coffee mug, wouldn't it? <laughs> or a bottle of Viagra. <laughs> and things have changed. Do you know what? I haven't. I'm still the same person I was before I did it the first time. Which is probably why you're going to break up with me just like Tommy Johnson did. Tommy Johnson was an idiot. And I'm going to call you tomorrow morning between 9 and 10 a.m. Okay. Good night, Wilma. Good night, Jughead. How about now? <laughs> Go on now. Oh, Brian, wait a sec. You got a long drive. <laughs> Your trip. Forget about that. What happened? Oh, well, it's a little embarrassing. What, what's embarrassing? Well, we got a little tipsy, went down to Mexico. Long story short, go up and say hi to your new daddy. <laughs> You're not going to tell me, are you? Bingo. <laughs> but Cheyenne, thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Well, how was it? Am I insane? Hmm. Oh, because I have to be insane. I mean, it's obvious. I rented a minibus for a nine-hour road trip, filled it with two screaming babies, two boys who fought over a puke pail, two sisters whose entire conversation consisted of, no, you shut up, and a woman who sang a version of Kumbaya that would make Billy Graham put his fist through a stained glass window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The trip was great. <laughs> Barbara Jean, honey, let's go. Coming, Brock. Well, I guess I should be going. Okay. Thanks for coming with us. Sure, no problem. I had fun. I especially like seeing your sister cry. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Goodbye, Kira. Bye. Bye-bye. my lord. I don't think I'd sing that in the car if I were you. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. So you survived the trip. How was it? Mom, we're talking about Barbara Jean's family. You know how it was. They were a bunch of freaks. There's really only one normal person there. Oh, really? Who was that? Oh, you don't know her. No. 